another day in Paris calls for another little Parisian treat. Today we have a box full of macarons and if you spend any time on Instagram you've probably noticed that when your friends travel to France they're posting pictures of these sweet little treats because they just look so cute really. Um, so we got ourselves a box from a little patisserie and we're going to be sampling them and it looks like we've got four different flavors in this one we'll zoom in. and I can't wait to dig in exactly are in these bad boy macarons. Okay, so I'm not much of a baker, but I did read up on these and they are made with egg whites, icing sugar, regular sugar, and then some almond powder. And they also use a little bit of food coloring to give them different colors. So as you can see here, we've got four different variations with four different flavors. Well, let's not waste any time. Time for the taste test. So the problem I have is deciding which one to try first. Mm. I think maybe I'll try the green one. You know what? It's probably civilized to like nibble on these, but I'm going one bite, one shot. Can you guess the flavor? Right? Is that pistachio? Who knows? <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Pretty sure it is, and wow, are those ever sweet. So tasty and really fluffy, and as you're biting into it, surprisingly, I wouldn't say crunchy, but it has a bit of a crispy exterior. All right, so I'm going with the pink one. Look at you, just taking nibbles. Mm. All civilized over there. Have a look. So that's like a strawberry jam inside. And we have and a little visitor. Hey, puppy! Hi, puppy. Oh, what do you see? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, that has to be the funniest. That's not even. Is that a? Is that a photo, video bomb, dog bomb? That dog was trying to steal my food. Dog That's what bomb. <laughs> All right, so where were we? Well, I ate the strawberry before the, the dog took it away, so let's try another one. Let's go with this one. Mm. What is this? Must be vanilla, no? Coconut? Mm. Almond. Almond? Seriously? That's almond, yeah. Show a close-up of that. A nice little jam in the middle. As you can see, the, the biscuit part is really fluffy. It does have a crispy exterior, but it's super moist inside. Mm. Alright, last but not least, I think we have maybe a brown chocolate one here. That's not chocolate. Can you guess what it is? Coffee? Oh, bingo, coffee. That's a really strong coffee flavor. I think that's actually my favorite one. Mm. So macarons are not exactly the cheapest dessert you can have. We've seen them over 20 euro before. The pack we picked up, which was 16, cost 13 euros, and we've already ate half the box, so we've had a bit of an expensive dessert, but that's okay. We'll take the rest home and have it later. exploring Paris and we thought we'd sample a bit of the local cuisine. We came across a little stand that was selling crepes. So I ordered one with jambon et fromage. So this one is ham and cheese. It looks delicious. We've been walking around for hours and I'm starving so so excited to just bite into this. Mm. Oh yeah. No, I'm so hungry. We had like the tiniest breakfast this mm -hmm. morning. This is so good. The cheese is nice and crispy. 
You can see it's also melted inside. Mm. One more bite just to make sure it's edible before I pass it on to Sam. <laughs> oh yeah. That is amazing. And it's a whole wheat crepe, so I don't feel so bad about indulging in this delicious treat. Mm. All right, so what do you have there? So finally I get a turn after mm -hmm. Audrey's two gigantic bites. Yes. Mm. I've been waiting a long time to have an authentic crepe from France and it's living up to its reputation. So, so tasty. The cheese is really salty as well too, which I like. Excellent. So, now it's time for dessert. So I ordered a crepe with Nutella. Oh, show that Look Nutella. That. Chocolate is all nice and melted. Wow. So excited to bite into this. Mm. Oh yeah. That's the perfect dessert. The, um, the crepe is super thin, so it feels super light when you're eating it. It's not too filling. And just Nutella, like that is my favorite thing to spread on toast, on muffins, on anything. So it's magic. Mm. Well, well, it is your turn. That is just like beyond amazing. The only other thing that I'd like to put in here would be bananas. That would be the ultimate. But apparently you can also get these dessert crepes with strawberries, with whipped cream, with other types of flavors. So sample them all. So because we are in a really touristy part of town, like right across from the Eiffel Tower, these crepes are a bit overpriced. We paid $4.50 for the one with Nutella and $5.50 for the one with ham and cheese. I know you can get them a lot cheaper elsewhere in the city, but we were starving and it was worth it and this is delicious. picnic in the outskirts of Paris. We just felt like we needed to get out of the city for a bit. So we went to a grocery store, we picked up a few snacks, and now we're in the Bois de Boulogne and we're going to be having a nice little picnic outside and it's a great day for it. So I'm excited to dig into all this food. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Oui. So we've been eating a lot in our hotel and also at cafes so we thought let's go out to the park and have a little feast. So I'm gonna show you exactly what we got. Ooh. We've got two bottles of little wine. They're both really cheap. Mm -hmm. We've got couscous. We've got hummus, baguette. Croissant. Oh, of course, croissant, croissant. croissant. <laughs> Chocolate. Enough macaroons to last us for a week. Mm -hmm. Plenty of Swiss cheese. Prosciutto. Prosciutto and smoked trout. What might you be drinking today? I've got Cabernet Sauvignon and I've really been enjoying this since coming to Paris. This particular bottle of wine and it's just a it's for just for personal consumption it's only 250 milliliters. I've been picking it up for like a euro 40, a euro 50 at grocery stores so I've been having almost one per day. It's my uh, guilty little indulgence. And the picnic would not be complete without a little sweet treat. Show so us that chocolate. To get some Chocolat. Ooh la la. Mm. Delicious milk chocolate. Chocolat au lait. Now that was quite the feast. Now it's time for us to burn off the calories by walking around the park. On 
the lake in the Bois de Boulogne and Sam is going to row me around for a whole hour. Yeah! <laughs> well, good morning from Paris. It's about 11 in the morning, which means it's time for either second breakfast or first lunch. So we stopped off at a little patisserie and we picked up little treats that we're going to be sampling. So here's my little bag. First let me show you, they gave us cute cutlery, a wrap with pink string. Aww. Aww. And today we're going to be having something called Coq Monsieur. So I'm going to show you what that looks like in a second. The Coq Monsieur looks a lot like a grilled cheese sandwich. So it's just two slices of bread, ham and cheese in the middle. You can also have bechamel sauce and then there's more cheese over top and that's been grilled and melted and it looks ooey and gooey. So I'm gonna let Sam take the first bite because I'm always eating the food first. So you yeah. sure are. Here you go. All right, time to dig in. Wow, is that ever good? Basically, my best way of explaining this is if you've ever had a grilled cheese before, this is like a premier grilled cheese. It has an extra layer of cheese on top, plus you get the ham in the middle. And I just love how, I think they put a lot of maybe butter on the bread or on the toast, and it just gives it that, <laughs> that greasiness that makes it so tasty. <laughs> and you're up next. Oh, I sure am. Oh yeah, that's really good. It makes such a nice snack. I mean, you can have it as a meal, but it's also light enough to have as a as a snack in between meals too. Mm -hmm. I don't really know what kind of cheese this is, but it's really, really tasty. If you know what kind of cheese they use in these sandwiches, let us know so I can pick some up in the grocery store. That's a lot of cheese, check it out. An alternative sandwich to try, instead of the croque monsieur, is the croque madame. And that one is also a grilled cheese sandwich, but what they do is they put a fried egg right on top of your sandwich. So it's a little more filling. Um, but yeah, I think that's the kind of sandwich that you probably want to order at a restaurant when you're sitting down. Otherwise it could get Yeah, it could get a little messy. Mm -hmm. So these are about three to four euros. You can pick them up in any French bakery, a patisserie. And the one tip that I want to give you is ask them to warm it up. It tastes so much better that way. Well, well, it is time for another French dessert. So today we are introducing you to the eclair. And I have two eclairs in here that I just picked up from a little bakery shop. And it's time for the unveiling. So I went for the classic chocolate top declare. So basically it's just a long doughy pastry and the inside is supposedly filled with cream and it has chocolate icing on top. But let's bite in to make sure. Quality control over here. Mm -hmm. mm. How is that? Absolutely. Mine's not cream, it has like a, a creamy chocolate pudding in the middle and chocolate icing on top. Ooh, it's almost like a filled churro. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the taste? Yeah, it's it's delicious. It's amazing. And I mean, the, the pastry, it's almost like a puff pastry. It's very light and it's hollow inside, so then they just fill it. Is it overly so it's, sweet? It's not overly sweet. It's more creamy than anything. It's like pudding. That is really good. Surprisingly good. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so you got a slightly different one? Yeah, mine is the coffee flavored one. You can also get all kinds of different flavors. There's different fruit flavors, there's rum toppings, there's all kinds of toppings. So if you, if you enjoy the classic chocolate one, definitely consider trying the other ones as well. Yeah, I think we saw strawberry and pistachio at the pastry Yeah, pistachio shop. too, yep. All right, let's try this coffee one. Mm. Again, it's the inside the cream, the pudding, and this one is, of course, coffee flavored cream yeah. inside. A really generous amount. It's almost like there's there's more pudding than uh, than pastry, mm -hmm. which is delicious. That's surprising. I was expecting the interior to have like a white whipped cream, like a white pudding. Nope, it's yeah. got the flavor to match the icing. Yeah. Okay, so once again, price point for the eclair. So to pick up an eclair, you're looking at two to 250 euro. And again, it's at a French bakery or a patisserie. And what I would recommend having it with is with a coffee or you could even have it as a dessert. It's delicious and highly recommended. So you can't come to Paris and not try all the delicious pastries they have in store. So today I have picked myself up one of these. This is called Millefeuille which means thousand leaf and that's just because you can see all the different layers of dough they're super thin um, and it looks like this has some kind of custard filling and icing on top let's dig in oh crunchy mm. that was a horrible bite mm -hmm. One of my favorite desserts I've been picking up from the patisseries here in Paris have been these awesome tarts. This one here is a lemon tart and it is my favorite. Let's have a look. Ooh la la. 